Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. And here is Mike Brander. This is the NBA Odds Couple Show for Wednesday, June 8th, Game 3 Woo. of the NBA Finals. Mike Brander, uh, you know, we thought, look, we thought the Cavs were going to be a little bit better wow. in this series, but... We were nevertheless able to each give a winning pick, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. That first no game problem. threw a lot of people for a loop yeah. pistol, Pete, me included. So we, you know, we just sat back, kind of regrouped, and uh, Get pulled out some very no, no, not just winning picks, but very good picks. You had the first half under, which yep. covered very comfortably. I pulled the trigger on Golden State third quarter. Hell, they were up uh, by I think twelve or thirteen. So yep. very, very sharp. Yes, we don't know what's expected. We've had a couple days to think about it. It's been a long NBA odds couple season. It's winding yep. down, but today here we go. Let's do it and again. We're going to so. be joined by Jordan Sharp, who is seven and three with his props for the NBA finals. Kicking ass numbers don't lie. My hats off, Jordan's beating that bookie's ass on his prop bet seventy percent right now so let's keep that going we'll be tuning in with him as well yeah. and uh, before we get too far along how about the review guide sports books review let's sports just... book review as always that is the essential part of the uh, SBR collection of sites right yes where you can go find out about every book you want to know about you can find out how reputable they are or disreputable or un lack of reputable they, they yep. might be uh, you can also find out about how you know compare one site yep. to another various exactly. different bonuses and, and you know us at SBR we want to be your one stop shop of Pete as far as line shopping and everything else yeah. is important guess what the review guide uh, uh, with these books making sure they're rating at an A plus and so forth and all that that's just as important because we want to make sure you're getting paid the SBR is the better business bureau of the industry and guess what? They've been for a long time. Shara has been in town about 13 years. With that being said, let's get going With because uh, you're going to be cashing some three. tickets. Yeah. Now, ah, jeez. Okay, first things Ooh. first. We're not talking about, tef about uh, uh, Steph Curry's uh, health anymore. Now we're talking about Kevin Love's health. Yeah. You have yeah. any updates on that? I have heard that he, and I, I'm looking forward to what Jordan may say. Sometimes he gets some yeah. sharp info on that as well. But uh, as of right now, he was limited in the shoot around. Jefferson was wearing the starter jersey in shoot around. So if he does play, he'll be coming off the bench, unless they're trying to throw the other team for a loop. But at this point, there ain't yeah. nothing can throw that damn team <laughs> yeah. for a loop. They're throwing so, themselves for a loop. But yeah, yeah. and I think basically, if you're Cleveland, you got a plan to go without him like they did last year and make it work and make it work. They made it work last year. They got two wins. How are they going to do it? My biggest concern, my biggest question is LeBron James defeated in his head. All right, and what I'm reading. Doesn't sound as confident as I've heard him. Doesn't sound as confident as I thought it would be. But my mind's telling me the NBA wants this damn series yeah, exactly. extended well, that's, a game that's a or whole two. Separate issue of course second, it is, but I may be this. jumping. So Let's say LeBron James is not defeated in his head. Maybe it's just a personnel issue. I mean, if, if LeBron be. James has all the confidence in the world, do the Cavs have what it takes to, to, to hang with Golden State for 48 minutes? I don't know. And Maybe this, not. Does Golden State have that much fire in them, Pete, that yeah. they're like, you know what, we need to bury them right yeah. now. Let's sweep this team. Let's get it done. Or do they, do they, do they literally take... Take a fucking breath. This team is amazing. Because well, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry, all right, they're not going to be winning no MVP in this series. Trust me, there's no way, all right? Draymond Green, Bogut, these guys, the role players are doing it. The other guys are now the role players, and that's why my hat's off. That's how good this team is, and that's how good the coaching is. My right, God, well, Steve Kerr. We can discuss uh, who we think might win game three, uh, but first let's get to uh, to my pick, which has absolutely zero to do with the side uh, or, or who's going to yeah, win the game God, or Pete, margin of you victory. Better, you stick to what you're nailing yeah. on. I, I, in, I think uh, I know in, what's going down here. I, I mean, I would like to hear, if someone has a strong opinion as to uh, who, you know, who's going to win game three, I would like to hear it because to me it's it's, it's completely uh, yeah. inscrutable. Me I can't too. figure it out. Me but too. I loved the first half under in game two for very specific reasons. Okay. I feel like all those reasons are in play in game three. If anything, even What was stronger. that under in, in game two? In game two, it was 106 and a half. What is it now? Now, well, it opened at, at 105 and a half. Now it's down to a 104 and a half market wide. Heritage wow. is still holding at 105. Okay. So I'm going to give under 105 uh, the yeah. Heritage line. I'm not exactly yeah. sure why Heritage is holding, but you know they might have just gotten a, a bunch of action where they have to balance their action. Uh, we, I, we had broke down a video for Yahoo Sports yeah. Radio uh, on this game. And Pete, you said something really, really that made sense last night. I was thinking about it. Um, Golden State, they're not on fire. There's no fire they have to put out. They just got to keep playing consistent. So I don't see them pushing the pace. Right. Cleveland, if they want any it's chance right, at all, exactly. they got to lock down on defense. Guess what? That spells under in the I first mean, what, half. What, what's, what's Cleveland going to do? Be like, hey, let's try to outscore Golden State yeah. in the first half to yeah. try to, I mean, yeah. come on. No, what they're going to do is they're going to try to be like, let's 
give 110% effort, yeah. lock down on defense as Absolutely. much as we can, Absolutely. and then at halftime see how it turned out. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. They Pete. might get blown out by Golden State, but even if they do, I could easily see it being like one of these like 63, 37 sure. type things. It still goes under. Uh, so listen, is it a lock? No, but I'll tell you what. I like the, the first half under a little bit even more in yeah. game three wow. than I did in game, game two. two. And that was a that casher. Was so I'm going to give a pretty confident Pete, I like that confident. I'm yeah. going to give a pretty confident pick on the, uh, on the wow. uh, first half under as far as the spread is concerned. I have absolutely zero confidence in any opinion that I could possibly give. No opinion. <laughs> Ah, on the side. Who the hell knows? Right. My, yeah. I mean, my sense yeah. is, is there any way, my sense is just the NBA, whether it's with the Cavs uh, personnel or I the know. refs or whatever, I don't know. somehow will find a way to get the Cavs two wins. I, I, you know, and that's right? what I'm thinking. I just can't I, see I, a sweep. I just can't see it. I, well, I know. I know. And it's just like, but I can. On paper, and it should, but I can't because... NBA, all right, bottom line. So, with that being said, Pistol Pete, and it's nice to hear you kind of go on a rant. Yeah. Yeah, a little Pistol Pete rant right there. I'm just ranting because I have no idea <laughs> Speaking about of rant, what I had, I, had a, I had a commenter on the video today, uh, Ahmet Gooey, right? He's like, oh, Brenner, you're blind. You're blind as a bat, you and Pete, this and that, Clay. Golden State, this and Golden State. You know what? This is the epitome, the classic bandwagon jumper, okay? I'm at Gooey. You yeah. do the math. He ain't no Golden State faithful from a kid up. Where were you five or six years ago when that team sucked for 20 years, okay? Bottom line, bandwagon jumper, whatever. I'm not blind. I think you got a walking stick. Anyway, so with that being said, <laughs> yeah, for real. With that being said, Pistol Pete, guess what? You got a pick? I'm going down swinging, baby. Really? I'm going down swinging. I am absolutely going down swinging. I'm hitting 69% in the playoffs, okay. so I got nothing to lose here. here. All right? Well, I'm no, you, some you could tickets. go down to 67%. Yeah. Which, <laughs> okay, know? okay. Right. All right, here's, here's my thinking, and a lot of this is all based on different factors. Okay, Golden State can take the foot off the pedal a little, all right? That coupled in with the fact that there's any desperation in the athlete that has an ego that wants to fucking win, right. all right, it's going to be in the first right. half. All right, now, if the NBA doing what they do best, and that's market make money, commercialize, do everything. They got to let this thing extend. So what better game? Game three. All right. I have got to just jump on. I got to do it. I got to jump on Cavaliers first quarter. All right. They were winning in the first mm -hmm. quarter mm -hmm. in Golden State last right. game. Right. So at right. home, I think right. they can easily get it done. It's a pick them. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking Cavs in the quarter. I know. Look at Pistol Pete. He can't no, believe I mean, it. I, I'm not just, Brenner's I'm just got trying. balls on this one. Yeah. This is Brenner's this ballsy is, pick right here. Yeah. And guess what? I'm taking the Cavs on the first half minus a half. All right, here's my. <laughs> you can't get pick'em somewhere. <laughs> no, I couldn't see a really? pick'em. Yeah, we we'll check, but I'm okay. gonna I'll take it minus the half. Okay. Here's my thinking. I'm not touching the third quarter, and I'm not touching the fourth quarter, and I'm not touching the full game. If Golden State's gonna do their magic, which by God, they're a bunch of magicians on that team. Yeah. All right, they will do it in the second half. That's what I'm thinking, Pete. So I gotta capitalize on if there's anything left in Cleveland, anything. Right. right. Kevin Love or no Kevin right. Love, we gotta do it early, early and often. First quarter, first half. Wow. And if the if the NBA is gonna, if the NBA is going to try to hand the, the Cavs a game at any point, it's, it's going to be game be three. One. It's got to be this one, you know. And again. What's going on with, with Kyrie Irving, all right? Is this not a good fit in Cleveland? A lot's going to – all will be revealed, as my dad used to say. God bless you, Duke. <laughs> For real. All will be revealed. If they don't win this series and somehow turn this around, which that's not looking good, all right, they're going to be making some changes. Yeah. You're going to see something big happen in that organization, and rightfully so. But with that being said, Pistol Pete, can't take nothing away from Golden State. And you know what? I really thought Cleveland was going to put up a hell of a big fight. Thought they were going to win this thing in six. That could still happen, but that would take sure. a milagro, as they say in Spanish. <laughs> milagro. Un gran Milagro, but that's not going to happen. Cash in tonight, though, with the quarter in the first half, and you're going to do what? I'm going to do a first uh, first half under 105, and you know what else I'm going to do? Third quarter over 49 and a half of the Chris Books. Ooh, uh, Ooh I, think, I'm sorry, I like no, I'm that. Sorry, I'm sorry. Fourth quarter, fourth quarter Four, over okay. forty nine and a half at the Christmas. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I, you know, it's 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 fifty. It, some places have fifty and a half. Some places have fifty. The Chris books have forty nine and a half. I like that. I think that if any quarter is going to be higher scoring and get over, it'll be the fourth quarter. Uh, fourth mm -hmm. quarter over forty nine and a half. Although I like the first half bet uh, a lot more, but. I like the fourth cap, the fourth quarter a bet a little bit as well. And now maybe the best way to bet hey, this game. Hey, before we jump yeah. in real quick with Jordan, uh, we got commentators that are just throwing some nice stuff out from about what oh, you're sure, doing on your tweets and all. No, this is oh, for, for, for you, but I wanted to throw out uh, props and a hello to Brian Kim. He's out there kicking that bookie's ass in Vegas right now and kicking it hard. Second trip out there, but he is always just guy who's said a some supporter in the good times and in bad the bad. Times. And he in literally and he gets on air sticks up for us, and people think that we're putting no hell no. He's just a real guy that knows the business, knows the up and down, and he appreciates. 
passion in the sport. So hats off to you, Brian Kim. Now let's bring in the Good main Good times man. and bad times. That's, That's right. what friends are for. All right, maybe the best way to bet this game is on props, and no one better to uh, discuss that with than Jordan Sharp. Seven and three on props in the NBA Finals so far. Jordan Sharp, uh, what are your thoughts on game three? Well, as my thoughts on game two are kind of let's just keep keep it rolling and do the same thing over again, and I, I made money doing that way. I don't know if I'm going to do that here for game three with all Mike's confidence in the Cavaliers, though. I don't know, Big Mike. You're kind of scaring me here, buddy. <laughs> buddy, I'm scaring myself. <laughs> Listen, I mean, it's just a matter of, I mean, Jordan Sharp, can you, can you see the NBA uh, whatever way, whatever how, however how, can you see the NBA actually allowing a sweep in the finals and only getting four games of revenue? Yeah, I don't think so. That was David Stern's NBA, though, so I don't know about the Adam Silver NBA. Ooh, we're I like that. Anything like that wow. though, but uh, uh, you, you guys remember It's a, it's uh, a different syndicate now in charge of everything, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, that's true. He was his right-hand man. Different family. Yeah, so was, <laughs> that anyway. was the Gambinos. That was the right? I love it. That's so <laughs> You're going under, baby. But, but so, you, I mean, you, you guys remember it. last year's finals, right? I mean, let, let's be honest here. Uh, this is this is a LeBron James game if we've ever seen one. And if Kevin Love doesn't play, I just have that feeling we're going to get that 40-point, 15-rebound, 11-assist game from LeBron James tonight. Are you guys kind of getting that same feeling here? Yes, 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 I mean, yes. That, that's kind of where I'm, I'm ma mainly focusing on my props tonight, just just his, his, his numbers and whatnot. But – Good he call. brought up an interesting fact that I think i got to shed some light on here as well. The Golden State Warriors on the road compared to at home in these playoffs have been a pretty different team. Not only have they not been playing as good a defense on the road, I think their defensive rating is about 10 points higher on the road than it is, uh, than it is at home. They're also playing a lot faster. Their pace goes up almost, I think, five possessions per 48 minutes on wow. the road this season in the playoffs compared to the road. So you got to be careful with those unders. But that being said, I agree with Pete's pick on this for a couple of reasons because I think the Cavaliers are going to have to come out on defense in this one and basically yeah. play like they were last year on defense. Right. This is not the same Cavaliers exactly. defensive team. So I think that I think that maybe some a very, very interesting way to pick this one is go with Pete first half under – Figure out what the line is for the second half and slam that over because I yeah. And like I said, I already one of my picks is the fourth quarter yes. over forty nine yes. and a half. Yeah, I like that. I completely agree with you on that because I think the Warriors they've been playing pretty slow. They've been playing a really half court game because I think they know that if they go small, they can beat this Cavs team by switching on defense sure. and playing smaller on offense. I think they might speed the pace up here a little bit on the road to kind of catch Cleveland off guard. I, I, you don't really see a team that's been playing as well as Golden State change up their strategy, but that's exactly what they've been doing this whole postseason when they go on the road. Sure. I don't see it changing here at all tonight. Hey, Jordan, i got to ask you this. I was uh, surfing around looking for some information because I've been scratching my head. For two years, Timothy Moskov, huge part of this team, playoff experience, productive, matches up well against them. All of a sudden, I hear Scottie Pippen, of all people, doing it and saying why they haven't made this change yet. I don't know, but Tyron Lue better, better, insert Moskov. This guy's getting like three minutes a game, and he's nothing. He's not a god. He's not a savior, but he's very productive against this team. It happened last year. What are the prop bets with Moskov? Because I got a feeling he's going to be getting some minutes tonight. There haven't. I don't think there have even been props on Mozgov because he hasn't been getting the minutes right. here. But I guarantee you that if Kevin Love does not play, there will be some here tonight. So I agree with you. I think that if Love doesn't play, they have to have have to find some sort of answer. And they fiddled around with this when the game was. Uh, if you remember, if you were if you're still watching game number two in the fourth quarter, they fiddled around with this a little bit and put in Mozgov with Tristan Thompson and went big for a little while. Sure. Kind of helped. Kind of didn't. Really kind of inconclusive. Would not be surprised me if we see more of that as well as we've we've heard Richard Jefferson might get some more playing time in this one. I think regardless of whether Kevin Love plays or not, because he's been playing very well. You know, they've they've been trying to mess around with that that forward center combo with Channing Fry uh, playing Richard Jefferson the four. Really, just depends on what happens tonight. I think with the starting lineup and Love, but I mean there could be some very very valuable prop betting picks if Kevin Love does not play here in this one, and it gives some other guys some uh, extra run in this one. Well, you mentioned one name in there that was definitely on the tip of my tongue because uh, uh, last report I heard an hour ago, he had the starter uniform on and shoot around. That's Richard Jefferson. And I compare him kind of like a Sean Livingston for Golden State, that, that unseen hero that absolutely is quiet, does nothing but produce. He's a little bit older, but I wouldn't be surprised if Richard Jefferson has a good game. He knows what it takes to get LeBron going. He's going to make sure he's in the right position. This is going to be an interesting game. I'm getting fired. I might take the full game by the damn the time this damn thing's over with. All right. So we got our picks, huh? I'm doing it. One more, oh, baby. No. I'm taking Cleveland and the NBA going crooked tonight, letting Cleveland get the win. What do you think about that, Jordan? I think, uh, yeah. 
I think I think I think it is bold, but it is not would not surprise me. However, what I is the full game spread? If, if you Kevin plus Love one. does I saw not plus play, one. I have it's to go minus one. Pick him plus one. I can't do it tonight. Fantastic. All right. All right. Jordan Sharp, thanks so much. Let's uh, let's review our picks, Mike Brenner. All right, I'm going with the first quarter. Cavs on a pick I'm going with Cavaliers on the first half minus a half. I'm going on the full game plus one. You know what? If I get beat up tonight, and I might, not only are the bloggers and commentators going to beat me up, it's okay. I got a hell of a shield. All anyway, right. if that happens, guess what? I'll still feel good about this bet. All right, Mike Brenner, I'm on the first half under 105 and the fourth quarter over. I'm very interested to see. How this game turns out, who gets proven right, who gets proven wrong, and win or lose, we'll be back for game four, right, Mike Yes, Brenner? we will. Jordan Sharp, Thanks, great Jordan. show. We'll talk to you soon, my friend.